Hi, welcome to Yoga and You. I am Shantala Kumaya, and today we are going to go on to few more seated asanas. We will move on to the Supta Virasana. For this, again, you remain seated like this. But again, if you try to want to move into this posture, you can move into this posture from your Parvatasan, your mountain pose. Separate your feet a little. And then drop your knees and sit on the mat. And then slowly come down. Just drop onto your elbows and stay at this level. If you can't go beyond this level, it's perfectly fine to stay at this level. And for those of you who can go back, completely go down and stretch your hands back. Interlock your fingers and stay here for as long as you're comfortable staying or for a minimum of five deep breaths. And to come out of this posture, once again, just bring your hands, hold your ankles and slowly come up onto your elbows and then from here, slowly come back up. To release this posture, simply extend your legs forward and to release the tension, just shake your legs out and just rotate your ankles a few times. The benefits of Supta Virasana is it's excellent for the digestive system. It can be practiced at night before going to sleep and especially when you're traveling and when the traveling takes a toll on your digestion leading to constipation and diarrhea problems, you can practice Supta Virasana. It's also excellent for people who run and have tightness in their quadriceps and hamstrings. It beautifully stretches out your knees and your hamstrings. It's also excellent for people who, because of lack of activity, sit for long hours and hence have very tight muscles. It completely relieves tension and stress in the pelvic area, hips, knees, thighs and also your ankles. Thank you.